a Goose Creek man has been arrested because, quite simply, he didn't cut his lawn. Yeah, that's what we are hearing. News yeah. 2's Macy McLeod is live in Goose Creek with more on why this happened and how to make sure something like this doesn't happen to you. Macy. Hey guys, this is a Goose Creek ordinance for responsibility for property maintenance. It basically says people are obligated to keep the outside of their homes looking presentable. Benjamin Moore turned himself in this morning and was arrested on a bench warrant. That warrant was issued after he didn't show up for his court date last month. It all stems from a ticket from code enforcement, which says Moore is not keeping his yard up to the Goose Creek standard. Neighbors tell me this isn't the first time Moore was warned about his yard. And some tell me there's no question it should stay presentable. It's a little curious. I mean, I'm glad that uh, somebody's coming around and we're taking care of the place, making it look good for everybody else, you know, not run down. This neighbor tells me code enforcement takes the community appearance standard very seriously. It's a little odd. Uh, you know, we're doing some inside work in the house and we had code enforcement come by tell us we need to straighten up, you know, get things moved out. So it, it's good that somebody's coming around and taking that. Benjamin Moore's friends contacted News 2 today, calling this arrest ridiculous. But when we tried to speak to Moore when he was released from jail this afternoon, he did not want to speak much about it. I'm not, I'm not really interested in doing it. I, I just tired of all this crap. The city of Goose Creek confirms that Moore was notified multiple times before the ticket was issued and says the problem wasn't just the lawn, but also the litter in the front yard, including in an operable car. Now, Benjamin Moore was released from jail this afternoon after he paid a $1,092 fine. Now, Mr. Moore also did see our broadcast at 5 o'clock and came back down here and wanted to tell me a little bit more of his side of the story. I'll have that coming up for you tonight at 11. Reporting live in Goose Creek, Macy McLeod, News 2.